Okay, so you say you want to add books to the members list of books. Here's the important point. We want higher order thinking questions that are open book format, make them think type of questions. We don't want literal questions if we can avoid it. So there's two ways that you can actually educate yourself about how to do this. The first one that I would recommend is go to the question writing tutorial. On the members page, when you first log in, you'll see question writing tutorial. If you open that up, you'll get seven pages that will tell you how to do this. So that's the first way you can learn about it. The second way is to actually look at a book that's listed that you know has good questions. And I'm going to recommend you go to Because of Win Dixie. That's a typically popular book anywhere in the country. And if you go there and you look at questions for Chapter 1, for example, and you scroll down, you'll read the questions that I wrote. For example, how did the store manager feel as the dog was running through the store? That's an inferential question based on the text, and then you can actually go down the line and see the questions for Winn-Dixie and pick any chapter. What caused the oranges to end up on the grocery store floor? How did the dog avoid going into the pound, etc.? So just look at the questions I've written for Winn-Dixie or pick Charlotte's Web. If you see that I've written questions for them, Andy Larson, you'll know that that's a pretty good model for the sample questions that you're going to try to put into Cranium Core eventually. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions, you can always write me or call me the information and leave me a message and I'll get back to you. But this is the, the heart, really, of this whole process that we have put together.